Hello everyone, today I'll be having a look at another new Dyson. This is the Dyson OmniGlide Plus and this particular colour variant with the gold accent colour here is exclusive to Dyson.co.uk. This also comes with the light pipe crevice tool. Now following on from my Dyson micro video, this is another Dyson that can't clean carpets. It's a handheld unit for your above floor cleaning and it also comes with a head suitable for hard floors. But if you want to clean your carpets with this Dyson, forget about it. So that's £350 you're paying for a Dyson vacuum that can't clean carpets. So if you've no carpets in your home, just hard floors and upholstery, then this may be the cleaner for you. Okay, without any further ado, let's get it out of the box. Okay, so here we go. We've got a big booklet here, which is using up a lot of paper, but all this is providing is some safety instructions. If you want the full instruction book, you've got to look at that online. So this is Dyson's way of saving paper by not providing an instruction book. We do, of course, though, get this little quick start guide, which may be all you need to get the cleaner working. Very simple guide for you there. Okay, let's have a look at the machine. I would say it feels slightly heavier than the Micro. And again, it's a brand new form factor for Dyson. And also glad to see that like the Dyson Micro, we've got a permanent on switch. So you just press it once to turn the machine on, press it again to turn it off. And it's also got a maximum button. So there's the machine. We'll have a look at that in more detail shortly. We also get a wand in uh, quite a nice silver colour. This is the light pipe crevice tool exclusive to this particular version. So this is a crevice tool for your nooks and crannies but it also illuminates so you can see in dark corners so you make sure you can get all those dust bunnies from for example down the side of your fridge etc. I'll show you that in action shortly. We also get the Dyson standard crevice tool, but with the brush attachment. So you can push the brush forward. You can remove it entirely if you want to, but you can also use it on the end of the crevice tool like that. Nice, soft, flared brushes, ideal for cleaning Venetian blinds, dusting your shelves, etc. We also get a new nozzle to me, I think this is the, what Dyson call the worktop tool. It's basically a tool for cleaning hard surfaces. So if you want to clean the toast crumbs from your toaster or anything that's spilt on a hard surface on a worktop, you can use this little nozzle here. Right, I think that's everything there. We also have the mini motorized tool which is ideal for cleaning your stairs, your upholstery, take it out to the car, help clean your car seats and your car mats. Good for pet hair. And of course the brush does come out for easy cleaning. Okay, let's get the rest. There's something else in here. Well, of course, it's the OmniGlide head. We haven't seen yet, have we? But there is still more in this packaging here. Oh, I'm not sure what that is yet. I'll, I'll have a look at that. This is your wall mounted charging bracket. I'm assuming you don't have to put it on the wall if you don't want to. And there's a little instruction guide there. So I think the final thing to remove is the new OmniGlide hard floor head. Lots of boxes to open. There we go, quite narrow. Yeah, it's quite small. I suppose 
it does mean being small it does get into the nooks and crannies into tighter spaces but if you've got a large area of hard floor to clean it's obviously going to take longer to clean with this small head but you've got two rollers now and multi-directional swivel wheels as well so it, it is designed to go forward and back and side to side obviously I'll show you the head in action very soon this is what was in this little box in case you're wondering you get a Dyson branded pencil a couple of raw plugs a couple of screws and two self-adhesive fastening so it means you can actually fit it to the wall without making holes in it although you can't fit it to a painted wall or a wall that's got wallpaper on it's really only suitable for ceramic tiled walls maybe glass but anything that could be damaged if you have to remove these you can't put them on it will take the paint off and I'm assuming it'll take wallpaper off as well I'm not going to fit mine to the wall you can charge the machine either on the dock if you want to fit the dock to the wall that's what you can do most people will want the cleaner on the wall so it's always at hand but if you don't you can actually charge the battery out of the machine or while it's in the machine to charge the Dyson Omni Glide without having to attach the cradle to the wall you can just put the cradle on a worktop or the floor and place the machine on top of it until it's in position the battery comes out, it's located in the handle here. There's a little catch on the end. Just need to release the catch and take the battery out. You'll need to make sure the Dyson Omni Glide is fully charged before first use. So I suggest leaving it a few hours before you're tempted to use the machine. I'll just show you around the cleaner itself. So we've got the on off button and the max button. This is the filter, simply twists off and pulls out. So that's washable. Obviously make sure it's dry before putting it back onto the cleaner. Just slides back over the handle. Line up the dots until it's locked into position. This button here opens the very small dirt container. Press on the red button and then as you press on the button, you slide the container down and the dirt should fall out. And that's about all I can show you on the machine itself. So any of the tools can attach directly to the machine itself like this. And by the way, these tools will not be compatible with any other Dyson. They might be compatible with a Dyson Micro, but I don't have the Micro here at the moment, so I can't check. But if you ask in the comments, I'll be able to check that for you later. But they certainly would not be compatible with any other larger Dyson, the V7, 8, 10 or V12, 11, whatever, they're not going to be fit. They're not going to fit because look, it's a much smaller fitting, but it does look the same as the micro, but I can't confirm that yet. So this is how you'd use it as a handheld with the motorized brush. So I do like this form factor. This is good for the car. It is slimmer than many Dysons. There's no hose though, so it's, it's not going to get into all the nooks and crannies. And of course you've got all the other attachments like the new worktop attachment, hard, hard surface attachment. And we won't be able to see the full effect because of my studio lights, but here's the light pipe. It's still, still fairly bright even though I've got two very bright lights on in my living room. So that will be useful for cleaning in dark corners. If you're cleaning out your drawers, backs of your wardrobes and things, even inside the car, it will help to illuminate the area so you don't miss any dirt. Now I'm assuming I'll be able to attach the OmniGlide head directly to the machine as well. Let's try it. Yes, you can. Um, that would have limited use if you've got stairs that aren't carpeted, wooden stairs or stairs made of a hard material, not carpet, then you could use this on your stairs as well. But obviously it is designed for hard floors. And for that you will need to attach the wand, just clicks into position. And then of course 
the machine itself. It does seem quite short actually. It's quite a short wand. But there you go. I'm going to leave this to fully charge. And uh, it does have a charging indicator. Let's uh, see if I can reach. There we go. I'm just going to have to. It's, it's, it's the wrong way around. There we are. Hang on. There we go. It should be charging. It is switched on. I can't see an indication that it's charging unless it has the full charge ah oh, there is a tiny tiny <laughs> you can hardly see it there is a little blue charging indicator hopefully you'll just be able to see that tiny pulsating blue light obviously my bright studio lighting doesn't make it very easy to see but as you can see it is pulsating to show that the battery is charging. I'm going to give the Dyson OmniGlide a full charge before I show you it in action. So I'll be back shortly once the blue light has stopped pulsating. I'm first going to test the Dyson OmniGlide on a ceramic floor. So I've put down some rolled oats, red lentils and black sand. So I've got some different sized debris to collect. Hopefully it's gonna do a good job. Not bad at all. It has made more or less a clean sweep forward and back with the dual rollers. Obviously it is cleaning in both directions. Seems to have got the debris from beneath the grouting as well. But it did tend to sort of move from side to side as I was pushing and pulling it. It didn't want to go in just one straight line. But yes, not bad at all. After those few passes, I've already gone over the max fill line, so I'm going to have to empty the machine before I continue with the demonstration. The OmniGlide's side and front cleaning using the dual roller head isn't the best I've seen. I've seen other cleaners perform far better than that. It was better at cleaning front ways on, but edge cleaning using either side of the nozzle was pretty poor. 
I had to go around with the crevice tool to remove all the debris and even then I had to do that several times to remove the black sand. Although it's not designed for carpets, I thought I would try the Dyson OmniGlide on this short pile carpet by putting down a small amount of the black sand, the red lentils and the rolled oats just to see if it makes a difference. I'm sure it's going to pick some of this up but I don't expect it to get a deep clean and I don't expect it to remove all the black sand but then again it's not really designed for carpets but you'd expect it to be able to clean say an entrance mat or a very short pile doormat. Again I'm going to use the OmniGlide on its normal setting but if it struggles I will switch to max. It actually hasn't done a bad job. There is some of the black sand I can still see in the carpet that might get removed when I switch to maximum. But for small areas of short pile carpeting, the Dyson OmniGlide performs okay. It does remove all the surface dirt. I thought I would test the Dyson OmniGlide on a bit of pet hair using the mini motorized tool. So this has just been taken from another cordless cleaner I'll be making a video for so there are other bits in here as well from the demo some there's a bit of black sand and some rolled oats and maybe the odd lentil but it's mainly dog hair so we'll see if this will be any good at picking up dog hair obviously with a mini motorized tool you could connect it to the end of the wand and clean a carpet with it but it would take you a long time so this would mainly be used for pet hair on carpeted stairs on your upholstery of course you can use it inside your car. So I've emptied the bin and I'll show you the bin emptying process during the video but let's just give it a go shall we. So I'm going to use the default regular setting not maximum to see how well it copes. Not bad at all. It's removed every trace of that hair and hopefully most of it has ended up in the bin but have we got any wrapped around? Well that's quite good. The brush roll has remained pretty clean despite all that hair I've picked up. Although this is not an anti-hair wrap brush roll or anything but um, yeah that's pretty impressive. I can of course remove the brush roll if it does get clogged up with anything, just slides out. So all the hair is inside here. So to empty, let's see, it'll be a test if it leaves any hair wrapped around the inner shroud. Let's hope not. So it's ejected. Oh, <laughs> well it's ejected the black sand that was mixed in with the hair and the lentils. Oh dear, it's left. It's left the hair in there. It's more or less cleaned the shroud though, as I emptied the bin, but yeah, I've got to put my hands in on that one. Pull it out. In fact, I might have to remove the bin altogether. There we go, if you remove the bin altogether, the hair drops out. So I mean, that was quite a large amount of hair though, to pick up in one go, but the Dyson certainly picked it up well. I think this is a cracking handheld machine. I wish they'd just give you it as a handheld, you know, the option of just buying the handheld unit 
with the mini motorized tool and some other accessories if you don't want the floor cleaning because you know just as a handheld I think it's pretty good I've just used the Dyson OmniGlide to clean the stairs and I have to say it's one of the nicest handheld machines I've used for stair cleaning. It's very slim, it's not the lightest but it's not too heavy and it really does a good job. It grooms the pile and also it does the risers, something that a lot of people miss when cleaning stairs is the risers and this is so convenient for cleaning the risers. You just flip it over, go up and down it's marvellous and then of course when you want to do the edges you've got the combi tool so you can do the edges and then if you've got any wood trim on your stairs like most people have you can flip out the brush and clean the wood trim so yeah excellent at stair cleaning Dyson should just sell this as I've said they should sell it as a handheld alone if you don't want to do your floors with it if you've got perfectly good vacuum cleaner for your floors and carpets but just want a handheld this is very good. There's a disadvantage, you can't see when the battery is about to run out. There's no real indication. I'm not sure if that tiny light will indicate anything, but it's very hard to see. I clean the stairs using the regular setting as well. I didn't need maximum. Let's have a look at the dirt. The stairs didn't look dirty. I've not put any dirt down, but there is dirt. Let's have a look, let's tip it out. Oh empty it out should I say right there's quite a lot here yeah. it's it's not that good at emptying I'll have to say that it because it was a small capacity it you might have to do it a few times that's it you have to sort of maybe do it a few times if anything gets stuck in there give it a shake as well and now that's more or less empty but just for one, from a single flight of stairs that didn't look like it needed vacuuming, that is quite a lot of dirt. Fibrous material, but also dust and some gritty particles as well. I better pop that in the bin and then clean up the mess I've made using the Dyson OmniGlide.
I've had this Dyson Omniglide for quite some time. I filmed the unboxing video ages ago, put it back in its box and didn't quite get round to unboxing it again and filming a demo until this week. And now I've actually used this machine, I really quite like it. In fact, I like it so much, I've bought another one. Because now, at the time you'll see the video, Dyson have this on offer in their summer sale for $249.99 with a free dock. Well, I was going to buy it anyway, but the free dock clinched it for me. You can attach this to the wall, but I don't like screwing things to the wall, especially vacuum cleaners, because I'm always chopping and changing. But it comes with a freestanding dock, and it's included in the price for £250. So, I bought one. So I'm going to use that in my kitchen, and I think this may be gifted to my mum, who is using an ancient shark that I gave her that's sort of losing its performance now and she's wanting something new so for her kitchen i think this will be better than the shark it's quieter it's lighter it's also shorter she's not the tallest lady and the shark is quite tall but i think she'll find whipping around a kitchen with this far easier and of course it's got excellent above floor cleaning with the motorized head she can do her stairs she can do a sofa she can take it out and clean out her fiat panda so Yes, I think my mum might like this. When she comes back, I'll show it and uh, see what she thinks. But I'm going to use one at home. As I said, I've ordered the current model. The current model doesn't come with the light pipe crevice tool. It's not in the gold color. It's in a traditional sort of Dyson blue, but it comes with a freestanding dock. So that's gonna go in the corner of my kitchen. We can just grab it to clean the kitchen floor on a daily basis, but I can also use it to give my stairs a good vacuuming a couple of times a week and of course I can use it on my upholstery and even inside the car. So after being a bit sceptical about this machine at the start of the video, it's won me over just by using it. So um, yeah, I've bought another one. And yes, I paid for this one and I've paid for the other one. I'm not sponsored by Dyson. Dyson have never ever contacted me for collaboration because I've said critical things about them in the past and I will continue to say critical things about Dyson, SIBO, Hoover, Vax, Shark. If I find something negative about a, pro a product I'm reviewing, I will tell you about it. I'm not going to cover it up, I will tell you. So yeah, there are pros and cons of this, like uh, no indication for the battery level, that's a con. I do like the instant on off, you just turn the button on, no squeezing the trigger all the time. But yes, a little quirk. I think it should have a, some sort of a rubberized grip on the handle, that would be better. And um, the bin emptying does need a little bit of help sometimes. It's a very small capacity, but then it's a small lightweight machine. So something's got to give. If you want lightweight, normally that means a smaller capacity, but that is very light and very easy to use around the home well, around the hard surfaces of your home and your above floor cleaning. So thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified of all my new floor care videos. So until then, I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.